Hi, this is Emma, and welcome to Esoteric Detective. It's coming. That is, leading scientists are planning to create the first synthetic human. Which would mean, a future of completely artificial humans made in a laboratory without any parents, with DNA from different people, to create what scientists are calling a perfect human. Earlier this week, Roughly 150 scientists, lawyers, and entrepreneurs met in secrecy to discuss the possibility of creating an entirely synthetic human genome. The invite-only meeting was held at Harvard Medical School in Boston on Tuesday, the New York Times reports, and attendees were told not to contact the media or speak about it, to anyone. The project aims to synthesize a complete human genome in a cell lie within a period of 10 years. Organizers included George Church, a professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School, Jeff Polk, director of the Institute for Systems Genetics at Nyu Lang on Medical Center, Andrew Hessel, a futurist in the Bio Nano Research Group at Autodesk, and Nancy J. Kelly. In an interview with New York Times, Dr. Church explained that the project, which is not yet funded, aims to improve the ability to synthesize long strands of DNA. Scientists are currently able to manipulate the DNA in cells for various purposes, including the manufacturing of insulin for diabetes. Synthesizing the entire genome would allow for much more significant changes. This means scientists would chemically recreate the genetic material that's naturally passed from parents to children. If the synthetic genome was created, it would be tested in the lab by implanting it in a human cell in place of the existing one. While this doesn't mean they'd be able to create a synthetic human at that point, the researchers question what could be done if scientists were able to change the human genome. For example, could scientists synthesize a modified human genome that is resistant to all natural viruses? They write. They likely could, for purely beneficial purposes, but what if others then sought to synthesize modified viruses that overcame such resistance? Might doing so start a genome engineering arms race? What do you guys think? Do you think this will pave the way for an amazing future for us? Or do you think this is the beginning of the end for humans as we know it? Stay tuned and subscribe to Esoteric Detective, to keep up to date with the strange and unusual. And please give a thumbs up, if you liked the video. And do let me know what you think in the comments section. Until next time, goodbye.